Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another trick for squaring numbers. Especially the numbers which are very close to base quantities like one more than a base quantity ending in one or one less than a base number ending in nine. So this is the trick or the super fast trick which will help you in squaring numbers ending in one and nine. So the first thing first, we need to understand the logic behind the use of this trick. So I'm, this is a detailed video, so you need to watch each and everything so that you can understand how the trick works and then you can formulate, make little bit of changes, you know, and come up with your own tricks for squaring numbers. So let's understand the logic first for the numbers ending in one and then numbers ending in nine and then we will apply the trick to solve uh, squares of big numbers okay if you have not clicked the subscribe button till now please do it and along with that you need to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of such useful uploads on this channel okay so first of all i am taking the numbers which are ending in one now suppose i have an example of 31 square right so this number ends in one right so it is one more than 30 so what am i going to do is i'm going to apply the identity for a plus one whole square where a is the base number so in this case if this is 30 plus one whole square then the value of a is 30 right so this is the application of what am i doing on the left hand side here now I know that a plus 1 whole square the identity is a square plus 2a plus 1. So I'll just split this 2a as a square plus a plus a plus 1. Now I know that the value of a is 30. So if I put a as 30 in this expression I'll get my answer. So this is practically a plus so i'll write it in another bracket so that you understand it in a better manner see if i take a as 30 i just have to do 30 square and add what this is this is 30 and what is a plus 1 it is the number itself 30 plus 1 that is 31 so if I have this 900 and I add 61 to the result, I'll get my answer 961. So what is the trick here? I'm actually applying the identity a plus 1 whole square without realizing it. So if I tell you the short trick, it is take 1 less than this number, it is 30 and just square 30 and add the sum of 30 and its consecutive number 31 to the result, you will get your answer. I hope you understand the logic here. We will be applying this trick uh, directly uh, in our subsequent slides. Likewise, if you have numbers ending in 9, say if I am talking about 39 square. So I know that 39 is 40 minus 1 square, right? So unlike here where I took a plus 1 whole square, now I have to take a as 40 and that will give me the identity a minus 1 whole square. So I know that the identity a minus 1 whole square is actually a square minus 2a plus 1. I'll split the middle term again. This will give me a square minus a minus a plus 1. So again a square just like here we had a square but what do we have now? So there is a minus sign. I'll go for a bracket. Here we have a as the first term and then minus is taken out as a common factor. So I'll take plus here and what comes next is pretty obvious. If you take the common factor out, minus out, you will be left with a minus 1 in the bracket. So what do you have to do here? So if I have, I have a as 40, then I can find 39 square by putting a as 40, so 40 square, right? So I am finding 39 square using this identity now. Minus what? The sum of a which is 40 and 
the predecessor that means the previous number a minus 1 which is 39 now it's very easy 1600 and subtract what 79 you get 1521 as the square of 39 so the trick works very well any number ending in 1 what do you have to do the number ends in 1 so you will take the base number a as like here we have 31 so we took the base number as 30 so just do 30 square and add the sum of 30 and 31 to the result if the number ends in 9 then take a as uh, the next number that is 40 so in this case just take the square and subtract that sum sum of the number and its successor right now let's see whether we can apply this trick to find the squares of big numbers so first of all i'll take some examples of numbers ending in one and now you will see if you forget all these steps you just know the last step how quickly you can find the square of such numbers the first example i'm going to take up is the square of 81 so in this case a is, a is 80 right very close to 80 so i will do 80 square and add what add 80 plus the next number 81 to the result so 80 square is 6400 that is obvious i add what 161 to this and i get 6561 as the square of 81 now you can see how much time did i take to apply the trick but this is the thing which requires the logic and this is a uh, rather an outcome of uh, the a plus 1 whole square identity. Let's have some more examples. Can we take 131 square? Now this is very close to 130. So I'll take a as 130. So 130 square and add what? 130 plus the next number 131. So 13 square is 169, so followed by two zeros and add 261 to the result, you get the answer 17. See, 61 will retain its place, 9 plus 2 is 11, so 1, 1 carry and then you have 17. So 17161 is the square of 131. We can take big numbers also, like let's take 271 square. So you have to do 270 square and add what? 270 plus 271 to the result. So 27 square I know is 729 double zero and since I have to add this, just add this uh, first, this is 270 plus 270 is 540, so 541. Write it here and then write the result directly. This is 73441 which is the square of 200. 71. Can we do one more question? Let's take 451 square. So 450, right? So 450 square plus 450 plus 451. Now, I, since I have to do 450 square, I should know little bit of Vedic maths also. How to square numbers ending in 5? 4 5s are 20 followed by 25. And since it is ending in 0, so we will have two zeros. And 450 plus 450 is 900. So 901 to be added to the result. You get 104302. So 203401, it is the square of 451. See, when you, you have understood the logic, application part is really important so that you can skip steps and you know why you are skipping steps, right? Okay. Now let's take some examples of numbers ending in 9. So I'll take 4 examples and I'll show you how the trick works so wonderfully well for numbers ending in 9 also. The first example is that of 79 square. So very close to 80. So I have to do 80 square and subtract the sum of this number 79 and the next number 80. So 8 is 64 right 6400 now subtract what uh, 80 plus 80 is 160 so one less than that is 159 now carry out the subtraction you get 1 you get 4 you get 2 and you get 6 6241 is the square of 79 
Likewise, say a three digit number four, 149 square. So 150 is the nearest base. So 150 square minus 149 plus 150. Now I know that 15 square is 225. So it is followed by two zeros. And when you add these two, 300 minus one is 299. And so your answer will be, I see I have to subtract this. So you, you should always remember, we are subtracting here and on the previous slide we added. So this becomes 1 and then a 0 and then 4 minus 2 is 2 and then a 2 and a 2. So triple 2 0 1 is the square of 149. Let's take more uh, larger numbers say 239 square. So very close to 240. So we'll do 240 square and subtract what? 239 plus 240. Now 24 square is 576, so double zero and subtract 240, the double is 480, so 479 from this. So you get 10 minus 9, 1, 9 minus 7, 2, 5 minus 4, 1 and then we have 7 and 5. 5, 7, 1 to 1 is the square of 239. If you extend the method to larger numbers 549 square, uh, the calculations become a little bit more, uh, you know, because you have to find the squares of two digit numbers. So, uh, there are so many videos on the channel in which I have already told you how to square numbers from 11 to 99. So, watch those videos and these squaring will not be a problem for you uh, if you watch and apply those here. So, 549 square very close to 550. So, I will do 550 square and subtract. 549 plus 550 from this. So square of 55, 5, 6 are 30 and 25 followed by two zeros and subtract this is 1100. So uh, 1099 from the result. So 10 minus 9, 1, 9 minus 9, 0. So this becomes 4 and this becomes 103. 301, 401 is the square of 500 49. So you can see how wonderfully the trick works and once you understand from uh, where, I mean the, uh, the base of the trick, uh, the root of the trick, you start applying it so effectively because you can't go wrong because you know the steps and uh, you can apply it to find the squares of even four digit numbers ending in one or ending in nine. So practice is a must. You know, after you watch this video, um, you share this video with your friends so that they, they also know it. Take up 20, 20 questions of each type. 20 questions of numbers ending in 1, 20 questions of numbers ending in 9. Do all of them and I assure you, you will be using the trick somewhere or the other, whether it is school exams, college exams or any placement exam. So all the best for your practice.